New Zealand up against Wales in the third place final. It's an interesting one with the wording around that because I've seen different sites call it a different thing. Spark Sport, who's got the rights to the tournament over here, has been putting up posters, or at least like the ones at the bus shelter, the digital ones that, you know, just flick around. Uh, see all the finals, as if there's more than one final. I don't know. Doesn't feel right to call it a final. I know, I guess, technically it is a bronze final, but I don't know. Third place match or something like that, I guess, feels more appropriate. Doesn't feel like anybody here is playing in a final. None of these teams would have wanted to be in this one. Uh, the All Blacks, who are winners of Pool B, uh, beat Ireland on their way uh, to this third place game, but then lost pretty emphatically to England. Wales, uh, winner of Pool D, managed to get past France in their game, but then um, yeah, couldn't quite edge South Africa in what was a much closer game than the other semi. But um, yeah, it's still going to be an interesting matchup. I think in my predictions video I had this one as the final, so maybe technically I'm right if this is a final. It's just not the final. Um, but yeah, New Zealand against Wales, these guys haven't played for ages, so uh, it's still got uh, an interesting element to it. The last five is five zip to New Zealand. It's been a long time between drinks for Wales to get a victory over New Zealand. I think the last time was back in 1953, so my dad was alive, but my mum was still not, um, so that's how long ago it is. Uh, last game for Steve Hansen in charge of the All Blacks, last game for Warren Gatlin in charge of Wales, so both coaches would definitely like to go out on a high, and likewise, uh, there will be some players who are playing definitely their last World Cup game, and potentially even their last uh, game for their national team, so um, yeah, despite the fact that it's kind of a, I don't want to say a nothing game, but it's not, you know, it's not a World Cup final, uh, there should still be a bit of feeling in it. Uh, on the last five games, the average score between these two teams uh, has been New Zealand 38, Wales 17. So it's been pretty uh, comfortable, I guess, you would say, for the All Blacks. But again, these results are all fairly old. The most recent one uh, is 2017. And if you just look at the world rankings then, it was New Zealand number one and Wales were number seven. So you would say that definitely on the Welsh side anyway, uh, their their national teams come a long way in terms of their their overall performances in the last couple of years. Uh, Gatlin's created a pretty a pretty decent squad there with a whole bunch of depth. So uh, that depth's being tested a bit in this World Cup because they've uh, had more injuries than uh, many of the other teams. But um, yeah, I mean this game is three against four in the world ranking. So in theory, it should be a bit closer than all those historical numbers would suggest. Uh, I will go over the teams, I'll put them in the description so you guys can uh, have a look, but for the All Blacks there's a few changes, and I guess Steve Hansen's kind of doing the right thing and trying to give uh, some of the old guns a send-off and that they are getting a game. So front row is Moody, Coles and Laulala, the only change to there from that team that lost to England is Coles at hooker. Uh, Ritalik and Scott Barrett are in the second row, so Ritalik keeps his spot. Uh, Scott Barrett moves in from six back into his more familiar spot in the second row. Um, Sam Whitelock is not is not playing in this one. Uh, Frizzell comes in at six. He didn't play in the semi final. Sam K moves up from the bench, and Kieran Reed in his final game uh, as captain will continue on at number eight. Aaron Smith still at nine. Richie Moonga still at ten. Interesting. They didn't they didn't shift anything there. They're going to I guess continue with what they see as maybe the future uh, for the All Black setup with a coaching change. Uh, who knows? Sonny Bills in at twelve up from the bench, and Ryan Crotty. Uh, is in at 13. You've got to feel like for both of them, it's probably their last game for the All Blacks. I'm pretty sure for Crotty, uh, he's already signed up for a deal to go, was it Japan? So he's he's Gomberger. Um, Sonny Bill, I don't think, has confirmed what he's doing. The last I read was some talk about him potentially getting a big contract to go back and play league. So we'll watch that one with interest, but I would imagine uh, last game for the All Blacks for him. Uh, Rico Iwane, who has been uh, displaced just in the last kind of you know, the last 12 months uh, as that first choice winger. Uh, he gets his spot back. Ben Smith in his last game for the All Blacks before he goes off to France uh, on the right wing and Bowden Barrett at 15. Uh, the bench, Coltman comes back into the 23 from outside. Moley likewise. Tatvar keeps his spot on the bench. Likewise to Pelotu. Matt Todd has his final game for the All Blacks as well. He's on the bench. Brad Weber finally gets a run. I think he's only had one game uh, in the World Cup thus far. Uh, ALB is relegated to the bench, um, 
and Geordie Barrett continues on in the 23 jersey. So, yeah, Ben Smith, Crotty, Sonny Bill, Reed, Todd, all these guys, you think that that's probably it for them. So um, they'll definitely be wanting to go out on a high, and like I mentioned, for the coach as well. For Wales, they've had more injury woes, so they've really had to rejig their squad. I think there was only like, was it 26 players that were fit and ready to go or something like that? It's, um, yeah, it's it's been tough for them, it seems to be a thing in World Cup years, isn't it, for Wales to, to get injuries. It's really unfortunate. Uh, Nicky Smith comes in at loose head. Owens is still there at, uh, at hooker, and Dylan Lewis is up from the bench uh, at tight head. Adam Baird's up from the bench into the second row. Alan Wynne jones continues on. How old is he, like 34, 35? I haven't heard any announcements on what he's doing. Didn't he recently sign uh, an extended deal with the Welsh Rugby Union? So he seems to be one of those kind of evergreen players that hasn't slowed down. He still seems to be keeping on going, so long may that continue, but um, yeah, he's going to continue as captain. He's never had a win over the All Blacks, so there's definitely a bit of incentive for him uh, to get one here. Uh, Tipperick has moved over to six because James Davis uh, has come up into the 23 and Moss, uh, Ross Moriarty continues on at number eight. Thomas Williams jumps up into the starting lineup, likewise Reese Patchell. Um, Watkin jumps up from the bench into 12. Uh, so Hadley Parks finally gets a bit of a break. Uh, Jonathan Davis is still good to go. I think he's had issues with his knee, right? So uh, it's good to see him still fit, I guess, at 13. Uh, Owen Lane, who was the late kind of call-up when Navidi got injured, uh, a, a back in for a forward. Um, he's going to get a game before the tournament's over. So I think it's only a second cap for Wales, so it's going to be good to see him uh, you know, get one, one chance to impress. And I guess it's good for him to have a bit of World Cup experience, even if it's only... Mostly a bit of time around the camp and then the one game. So it's going to be good experience in the bank for him going forward. Josh Adams, who's kind of lit the tournament up, continues on, fair enough. And Hallam Amos has come back into the 23 uh, to replace Lee Halfpenny, who's had another concussion, which is pretty um, disconcerting for him, I guess. Uh, the bench, D, Carey, and Wynn Jones is going to have to cover that tight head berth. Uh, Jake Ball's down from the starting lineup. Shingler's still there. Gareth Davis is in the bench. Likewise, Bigger and Parks, all guys. Those last three who started the last game uh, are down to the bench for this one. I mean, it's good for Nicky Smith uh, for him to get a game because he's kind of been that that leftover guy, I think, for, for much of the tournament. Um, Thomas Francis is out after that clash with him and... Um, and for Mullen, so it's one of those injuries. Um, Wainwright's got a hamstring injury, so he can't play, and he's been really good this tournament as well. Uh, like I mentioned, Halfpenny's got concussion, so um, yeah, it's a rejigged Welsh lineup. No Liam Williams as well, didn't play in the last game, so it's it's unfortunate for Wales that it's not what you would say it's their first ch choice um, 23, but I guess that's kind of Gatlin's legacy on this Welsh squad is that he has. Uh, built a team that can lose top players and still have other guys step up or step up or step up. So, yeah, and he'd definitely love to get a win over New Zealand before he returns here uh, to coach the Chiefs in Super Rugby. So, yeah, I still think there's going to be a fair bit to play for uh, for both these teams. In terms of the predictions, the bookies have got New Zealand by 19 points, uh, which is pretty comfortable. Uh, rugby forecast, the algorithm, has got New Zealand by 14, so a couple of tries um i hope it's a bit closer than that it's a it's a third place game so hopefully the teams kind of throw it around a bit and don't um i guess don't play it like a final um you, you think with this england south africa final that game's gonna be and i won't say boring because i can appreciate the game when it's played defensively and conservatively as well i know not everybody likes it that way but um the final could be yeah quite tight small margins, low risk plays. Whereas this game, you feel like you can just throw the kitchen sink at it. So uh, hopefully it is that kind of game. You guys let me know your thoughts on this one. How do you think it will go? Is it gonna be the first upset uh, win for, for Wales? I only say upset because looking at those predictions, but um, upset win for Wales for the first time in like 50 odd years. Or do you think the All Blacks, who are not a team that loses two in a row very often, but neither is Wales uh, in recent times, uh, will they bounce back and put in a pretty confident performance in? But um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.